Hi everyone! Happy Friday! Vicki Keller here, your independent stamping up demonstrator from Brisbane. And I'm just trying to find myself. Hopefully it comes up soon. It's a bit slow tonight. Come on. Here we go. Hi Wendy. Oh, thanks for sharing straight up. Alright. Alright. Hope everyone's had a good week. Hi Karen. Happy Friday. So I have prepared a little bit for tonight. So, hi Glenda, everyone's on tonight. It's lovely. It's not as hot tonight. Feeling much better. And I've had a bit of a play this week um, with some Christmas stuff. Because I've had a few things, but I haven't had really much of a chance to play. So I'm just going to flip the camera around so that when you guys see the pictures there, the right way. There we go. Friday the 13th with full moon. Oh, no. That's no good. I knew it was Friday the 13th. My new boss, she sends around an email each Friday and has some little memes and stuff in it. So that was pretty funny. She reminded everybody that it was Friday the 13th today. So here's some little caps. I've been playing with the Perfectly Plaid stamp set this week. Just trying to get the glare off there. Perfectly Plaid. And then it comes with... The matching punch so that's pretty cool um, so I've made this one because I've been using the matching DSP as well and I found this Merry Christmas stamp fits perfectly into this punch which is good because I always like punches for quick easy cards so you don't have to get the die cutter out um, so then this one. I also have been playing with my Delicata inks. I don't know what you can't really see on there, but I did stamp that in gold as well. It doesn't show up so good on the camera, but in person it shows up good. And this one. Oh, bring that back a bit. And I've used some stars. Hi, Braden. This one I'm not sure you'll be able to see because it's stamped with the Delicata ink. There we go. So on the darker colours, the Delicata ink does work and it does show up. It doesn't show up great on camera or pictures though, but I can see it perfect in person. Hi Beth. Hi Denise. And then this one. And this one. Oh, the glare's bad, isn't it? Maybe I need that other light on. And then this one. I stamped this before I got my piercing mat out. And I didn't want to re-stamp it and risk it. So, because they're photopolymer stamps, meaning they're the see-through ones, you need to make sure you've got your um, pierce mat underneath you to give you that bit of cushioning um, so that you it gives you a clearer image with stamping. Hi mum, you just missed all the cards I showed for what I've been playing this week. 
So getting a start on some Christmas cards. Hi Kerry. Um, so I'll just get the catalog there as well. So that everything um, that we're playing with tonight, I think except for this punch, is from the holiday catalog. So if you haven't got yours and need one, let me know and haven't already got a demonstrator in Australia, let me know and I'll put one in the post. But we can um, now show the insides of it. And the sweet, I'm using two, um, two sweets kind of merged together tonight. I'm doing the wrapped in plaid sweet, which is this which is the stamp set and the punch which you get if you buy as a bundle you save 10% and then this wrapped in plaid paper which is a lot prettier in person than I expected um, so each side it's got gold foiling on each piece so one side doesn't have the gold and the other side does. Thanks Karen. Um, so that's that side. Then that's got the pretty gold. And then the dots on the other side. I love this. This reminds me a bit of a school uniform. But I really like it. And reindeer. Another school uniform. I don't know, maybe it's just school uniforms in Brisbane. Does everyone else have school uniforms like this in other states? And then that side. And then the pretty pine cones. And Christmas trees. More school uniform and Christmas trees. I like this one. And then it's just got dotties. Don't mind a bit of dots. And then this one. And it's got some red reindeer on the back. And then this navy one. And it's got holly stuff on the back yes my school uniform was very similar good my uniform wasn't similar I had a just a plain blue um, skirt and navy uh, white blouse but there was quite a few uniforms that had the check and the tartan print so there's that one and then that's got um, little stockings on that side I really like that I haven't used that yet and then this side with this paper and this is what we're using tonight hi Chrissy which is surprising because I really like all the gold foil so I thought I'd use all this side first before I use this side and this has got that on that side but I want to use the blue because I'm doing Night of Navy card so hi Sue they are pretty papers aren't they they come in this sweet so you don't have to buy the whole suite, you can just buy the paper if you want. And you get 48 sheets, so there's 12, um, what is there? Twelve, uh, four each of 12 double-sided designs. Yeah, six by six. And they match these um, punch and the stamp set as well. So um, that's what we're using tonight and I did uh, buy this ribbon too which is actually really really pretty and it ties bows really nice so I um, some of these other cards bring one of these other cards back um, this is shaded spruce I have not used this color yet and I quite like it. I think it might be my new Christmas green. And then so the ribbon is shaded spruce and gold. It's really pretty. 
nice than what they look in the book. Yes, I do find that, Kerry. I think sometimes you've got to get the papers in your hand. So, because in the book, and it's funny, I had a, um, a video conference with uh, the Stampin' Up! DDM this week, and I was talking to her uh, about that exact situation, that sometimes I think we just, like, um, I really need to focus on some paper shares and things like that to get some of these papers in my customers' hands because personally I know that um, my customers aren't big purchasers of DSP. And I said sometimes I think if you put the paper in their hand and they see it in person, they are more likely to purchase it because I did the same with that um, mosaic paper Mosaic mood paper, I think it was, in the annual catalogue. I bypassed that in the annual catalogue completely. It didn't interest me at all. But we got that free at on stage in Auckland as our all attendee giveaway. And I actually really like it. And I said, I've used so much of that paper, but personally, I would never have purchased it looking at it in the book. So I think sometimes you need to see it in, in, um, in real life. So, uh, we did the little draw beforehand for the winner of the comments from last week, and Kerry is the winner. So, I'll pop this in for the class, Kerry. So, this is from last year, the foil snowflakes. So, you get 24 snowflakes in there, so you get gold and silver in there. So, I'll pop your name on them and pop that in my book for my box. And I'll twist the camera around and we'll start crafting. So I did try and tidy up my desk a little bit so you don't see so much of the, the mess. But this is what we're making tonight. Oh, they're great, Kerry. I really like them. And you can cut them in half or quarters and get heaps out of them or put them behind um, even sentiments, even this punch, just to give it a bit of detail. I love them. I actually used two whole packets of them when they were current. So it's a nice little, little treat. So this is what we're making tonight. So we are using the Delicata inks. Has everyone taken notice of these in the catalog? I've only got the gold and the silver. They also do come in copper. I had to make a choice. And although I do really like copper, I've um, gone with the gold and silver and I might buy copper next order. Now these are a pigment based ink and they're really shimmery. So when you use them, you're supposed to clean with um, stays on cleaner. But in all seriousness, I've been using them this afternoon and just cleaning with a baby wipe and it comes off. So I don't really know that you need stays on if you do it quick enough. Love them to work with. Yes, they are very nice. And a few years ago, we had other inks and I think I've still got them. We had these Encore and they came in gold and silver, but it didn't seem to matter what you did with them, they never dried, whether you heat set them or not. So, but these Delicata ones, they dry and don't smudge as long as you don't touch them too early. I touched that one early, but these ones have now been made. Um, I only made these this afternoon and they're not smudging at all and I did clean my fingers after crafting so there's nothing coming up off that and there's nothing new off this one. Oh, there's a little bit there still because it got a bit blotchy there on the darker cardstock I do think it takes a little bit longer for it to set but 
on the white cardstock doesn't take. Hi Pete, how are you? So I'm going to show you, and can you all notice, have you all seen this blue navy ribbon in the catalogue? Or how do you think I did that? So I really like blue and silver together, but I did use the gold on these other ones. So I put the star there and I did a Merry Christmas. And I did the stars on this one as well. So I did play with the gold quite a lot, but I, navy and silver go really well together. So we're going to make these cards tonight show you how I did them. So in order to use blender pen, I did use blender pens blender, very clever. So I did have with my alcohol markers. So, and I do want to try this because um, the colours in this are cherry cobbler and gold and this ribbon comes in white with silver trim or very vanilla with gold trim and I really want to try colouring the very vanilla with cherry cobbler but I looked and I don't have cherry cobbler markers so I can't try that. I'll have to put cherry cobbler markers on the list and try that um, because I think that ribbon would be perfect for this card but I don't have cherry cobbler ribbons so I wasn't able to do it but I do have Knight of Navy ribbons, um, blender pens. So, um, in your two pack, you get light Knight of Navy and you get the dark Knight of Navy. I did try both and I went with the light. So I don't know whether you can see the difference on camera. This is the dark, where's my hand? Here. This is the dark and this is the light. And this is the cardstock. Oh. So on consultation with Adrian as well, we went with the light Knight of Navy. It looked better with the ribbon and matched the cardstock better. I'm not sure that you're actually seeing that with the light and the glare that I've got tonight. But the light um, colour does look better. So in order to do that, I'll show you how we did it because we need the ribbon to dry a little bit. Get your light knight of navy. Cut your slice of ribbon. Now I've just got, um, I was trying to find some paper but I didn't. I've got the plastic sheet that the DSP comes in and just got that under because this will bleed. And you get your brush tip end and colour. Now you don't want to go over it too much because it will get darker the more the more layers you put on it and it really doesn't take a lot to colour it and you only have to do one side because it does come through. Okay so even though we're going to tie a bow you only have to colour the one side because it does go through. So I do one coat and then because it's alcohol based it does dry pretty quick and then I just go through and do a more even coat where some of it might look a little bit lighter to get a more even colour tone. Now if you've got some of your um, not, um, everything is rosy ribbon left over. You could use that um, with the copper delicata ink because that was rose gold. I'll just grab this so you can see. So that ribbon, this was already Knight of Navy to start with and it came with rose gold trim. So with your copper delicata ink, that would work quite well if you've got some of that ribbon left over. I've used all my ribbon, so I've got nothing left over. Oh, 
Alright, so we've got, we're going to make a Knight of Navy card and my bone folder. Just burnish that down and we need to tie a bow with the white ribbon. Oops. Yeah, everyone check my nails out tonight. I got them done last night and they're copper. I like this one, a bit ombre. I was trying to do something copperish to match my nails, but I went with gold and silver instead. Okay, that one's just going to have to be trimmed off there. Okay, so I've used my... Um, when making this card, I've used these um, One Sheet Wonders that I designed for a class a few months ago that I, um, Celine Campton, she did one very similar, but because she's in America, our sizes are a bit different, so I just altered it to fit our sizes. So I've did up these One Sheet Wonders and specifically designed for six by six paper. And so this one is with an additional cardstock layer. So that's for cards like this, where you've got an extra piece of cardstock on there. You cut your six by six sheet and you cut half an inch off and then you turn it and you cut uh, three and three quarters and then you'll get a strip this size you'll get a strip a piece this size and you'll be left with a little piece this side that's your half inch piece and I've just decorated the inside of the card with that so you get two cards out of that piece by doing it that way so that's one way of using it or this second one is when you don't want a cardstock layer. So when you layer straight onto your card base and no cardstock layer, you get your DSP and you take a quarter of an inch off and then twist it and then cut two inches, two inches, and you get three two inch pieces. And then you can end up doing cards like this. So this is out of the same piece of DSP plus the next card that we're going to make tonight. And then I've done the same with this piece except I've used this and I've cut a half an inch and then I've just cut two inches, two inches and done the same as well to get the cardstock layer. So hopefully that might help some of you use some of your DSP. Um, they are on my website if you want them. They're uploaded, I think it's under the April class, maybe April, May class, but I'll get the link and put it to the video tonight if you want them. Um, now that this is a bit dry, we'll tie this bow as well. The ribbon does get a bit stiff once it has been inked and dried. I just like tying my bows so that once they're, the card is done and ready, everything is just ad adhesive and go. Oh, that's going to be a tight fit with the ribbon. That's all right. Okay, so. We are using the stars from So Many Stars and you get two um, bundles of stars, like you get loads of stamps in this. 
So you get two sets of stars that you get five stars in one stamp. So you get their little dotties and these have got a little bit more detail on them. So you can see them better on the front. So I've used the dots already, so I'm going to use these ones tonight. And then this, I think, has got some really nice sayings. I think Season's Greeting and Joy is for the outside, but the rest of them, or Love and Peace, but the rest of them, I think, um, are good inside sentiments as well. So I haven't stamped the insides of any of my cards yet, but I'll do that later before I close them all up. So we'll get... Put the gold away because we're using silver. Now I have found with this ink, you need to make sure you get loads of ink. Let's get my piercing mat down so we get a nice image. You need to load up your stamp a few times. To make, especially when you're inking on the darker cardstock. So usually it, I just say tap, tap, tap and ink. With this you need lots of tapping. Really get in there. Get a bit of ink on there. And then push that down. And stamp. And while we're going, I'll get the white so that I don't have to clean the stamp and do it again. So this is how I do my multiple card making as well. When I'm making similar cards, you do the one, one step multiple times. Makes it go so much quicker. See, it shows up really nice on the white, and it's just it's more subtle on the Knight of Navy. So I'm just cleaning that ink off. And I've just used a baby wipe and most of it's gone. So because I don't like using stays on ink on my photopolymer stamps or stays on cleaner on my photopolymer stamps but so the baby wipe cleans that off pretty good okay now we're going to stamp now for this um, Knight of Navy one I'm going to stamp the sentiment on a um, and punch it out because I didn't really like the sentiments a bit too faded for me on the just the Knight of Navy so I want it to stand out a little bit more so we'll just stamp it on the white first and I'm just doing Merry Christmas this time make sure that's loaded up make sure my card's straight going and then I've just got a scrap of white here load that up again it does show up heaps better on the white Than the darker cardstock. Put the lid on that. We'll just and now this does take a little bit longer to dry than others, so we're just going to put those aside, and we're going to put tape on our um, DSP pieces.
Okay. Have we all got plans for the weekend? Now, when we... Um, we just lay this down onto the Knight of Navy piece with a small border. And this one's going to have the white. So... Just going to tuck a tiny bit. Now, I've just lined it right up. Because I'm not having a full piece of cardstock on my... Like a card layer base on my card, I didn't want the ribbon showing underneath, like coming on the inside of my card. So I'm just lining this up at the very top of this piece. And tucking those sides around and then that can go on this piece and then we can stick the bow on that so we just get a glue dot And stick that down and just fold that careful not to touch that silver and just score burnish that school on and there's that card done and then this card, take the backing off, and this is going straight onto the card base. So now do the same with this piece and just tuck a little piece around the edge, line it up with the top. And tuck another piece. I've cut this very short. Could have given myself a bit more, like a quarter of an inch more. But that's alright. And then lay that on the card. And even with that ribbon, because there's alcohol, we coloured it with alcohol markers, I'm rubbing that and there's no transfer of colour. It's really good. If you use your, because you can use your ink pad to do the same thing, but with your ink pad, because it's a water base, it will transfer colour. Your alcohol markers are much better to do this with. Because then when you rub your fingers along, when you're doing this and whatever else you do on the cards, you're not going to get transfer. And this should be dry now that I'm going to punch this out. Now even if you stamp this crooked, when you punch it out, you will line it up so then it looks straight. Punch that out. And then we'll pop some dimensionals on the back of that. Hi Karen. Right, and then that one can go there, like that, because it stands out more. 
So they're the two cards that we've made tonight so far. And these are the two examples that I had. And you can just see the sentiment a bit more on the Knight of Navy than this one when you punch it on the white. Right. So I might make another card then. Put that paper away. I have got some cards here. I don't think I've got any more cut DSP. So we'll cut some. Thanks, Glenda. And we'll make something using the Christmas tree. Um, so we've got a white piece. When I use white as the card base, I use the thick whisper white. And I might. those two and we'll punch out some Christmas trees I don't know what we'll use yet. I You tell I'm thinking really hard. We might make what's in the a take on what's in the catalogue. pressure is on. It is because you can tell I haven't prepped this one. This is flying by the seat of my pants. Oh, I like that one. How my brain works. Mm. I'm just punching out three every time I punch one out because I kind of cut that bit off and then still have this usable piece of DSP. Even though I'm probably not going to use all these trees on this particular card, I just cut that off and then that scrap can kind of go in the bin, but I've still got a full piece of DSP that I can use on something else. Is why I was doing three. Now I did also find that, if I have a look at, oh, which card is it? This card, does the tree punch cut out the trees on the DSP you had earlier? I'm sure it would. Uh, I'll line it up in a minute, Glenda. Um, the Ho 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 in this stamp works with the classic label. It fits perfect. So I liked that because I do like a good punch sentiment. Oh, there goes my ribbon. Um, where was that tree?
Let's line it up. Blender. Yep, punches out. Perfect. That's pretty clever. And in the stamp set, you get a, a, punt, a stamp very similar to that. It's got no tree base on it, but this is the tree base here. Whereas the this one and this one already come with the tree base. This one and this one, you need to add the tree base when you stamp them. Which I find, um, I did try that this afternoon, stamping this and this, and then I stamped the tree base first and then punched them out. Some of my tree bases didn't line up. I didn't get right in the center. So I find if you stamp this, punch, and then add the bottom of the tree, you'll get a better, a better image. All right, so we might do that. And I think we'll stick, ho, ho, ho. We'll do some of the ribbon and then ho, ho, ho in the gold. So we'll just clean up the stamps for these ones. Whoops. Get ho 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 out. And that should fit. Make sure there's plenty of ink on that and we'll just stamp that on this scrap. Ho ho ho. Clean that up and I'll have to go get my punch because I put it away because I didn't think I was going to use it. Be back in a minute. Here we go. All right. Did you leave me, Mum, and come back? All right. We'll wait for that to dry a bit. We might stick these down. We'll stick some of this pretty ribbon down. We might do some just little inking in the background of these tiny stars, which is this one, tiny stars and dots. Might do that in the gold. Just some random stamping. You don't want I should probably have a piece of paper underneath me. So when you're doing a random stamping, make sure you um, twist your stamp around and get different sides and stuff. Oh, I really like this. Oh, look at that. I don't know whether that shows up so well on the camera. It shows up really nice in person, I can tell you. It's really sparkly and really pretty. It looks like... I've been very talented with my splotches with like Wink of Stella or Gold Wink of Stella. That's what it looks like. 
Oh, it's very pretty. So now we'll stick, oh, we need some tape on that. Put some in the middle so that the tape can wrap around. Stick that one down. Now we'll get some dimensionals on the back of these. Make sure we've got none the same because I want all different trees. Hi Marie! Oh! Dimensionals are stuck together. Oh, we want one of them that way. Does look like glitter DSP. Glenda? Oh, I can't get that off. Don't know what's going on there. Is that, no, that's better. Oh, now it's stuck everywhere. I think that piece can just go in the bin. There comes a point where you need to throw things in the bin. And that piece of dimensional is done. Okay. Um, cutting these bits. Thanks for sharing, Marie. Okay, I'm just sticking these dimensionals on. This one's going to have to go first because there's no tape on the back of this one. Um, I think that balances. Work out where you're going to stick them. Okay, these dimensionals take a little bit to get off. That's okay. We won't stick that behind there. No, we won't. I don't like that. And there we go. And then we'll get our sentiment, which we stamped and has been drying. This is our classic label, and it fits ho 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 very nicely in there. I thought that was a great find for me this afternoon. 
when I learnt that. And you need your mini dimensionals to stick on the back of that. But that's okay, there's thousands of these in a pack. And one in the middle. And oh, look at that. Isn't that a bit cute? And that took me like two minutes after I decided what I was doing took me a little bit to decide so that's super cute that and where did I put the other two cards that we've made tonight I've lost them lost them lost them lost them I oh, don't no. yeah this one and this one we'll get rid of this trying to get better at this so I can get my thumbnail right for uh, YouTube when I transfer it to YouTube. So if you haven't liked me on YouTube already, I am on YouTube. Can you like and subscribe to my channel? That would be lovely. If you are watching from YouTube, if you can make sure you like this post. Does that work well? I think Adrian might be happy with me. If I can move that up maybe just a little bit. Look at that. Well, thank you everyone for joining me tonight. I hope you've got lovely plans for the weekend. And you enjoy crafting tonight and this has inspired you to get a start on those Christmas cards. These three didn't take very long to make tonight. Or if you need some Christmas supplies, let me know and I can add to your list, help you add to your list. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye.